Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley and in today's video I will be showing you how to get your hair like this with my twist out routine. It is pretty long, pretty detailed, but this is what has helped me get my hair to how I like it um, because in the past I was watching YouTube videos and looking at different posts and hair products but those just weren't working for me so honestly no lie it took me five years to figure out how to get my own routine and what works for me so yeah if you're interested in learning more stay tuned so I just washed my hair using this shampoo in the shower and then I detangled it as well so now I can use Oops. Now I can use this little brush to go through my hair. Um, and I'm just gonna part it down the middle and start putting my, my conditioner in there. So I just part it in fours because it's just to let the conditioner sit. Usually I let it sit for a full day, but since I'm doing this video and I wanna show you guys like right away, I'm just gonna let it sit for about 30 minutes, which I think you're really supposed to do, but I like to let it sit for a day because it makes my hair feel a lot softer. So already using this brush, like my curls kinda of bounce up, but not really <laughs> because there's no product in it. But this is the conditioner that I use. I hope you can see it. I don't really know, but I'll link it below. Um, and of course, everybody says to use a dime size. I'm not doing that. I like to use a lot. And then I just put it through my hair. Make sure I get everything. Because my hair does tend to get pretty dry. Um, but not that I do this and let it sit for a whole day. I could wear my hair, after I take my twist out, I could wear my hair curly for about four days, which is pretty good. And then I have to redo it. So I only wash my hair with shampoo once a week. And then the last one, brush through. And you see how easily this goes through my hair? You would think it would like pull your hair out, but it doesn't, at least not for me, because I make sure that I detangle with either a wide tooth comb or a um, my Denman brush. More product. And all through this part of my hair. I put this. You know, it really took me a long time to do these videos because I was terrified. <laughs> I was like, who am I to be doing these videos? But then I got so many questions on my hair and I was like, I feel like I can help a lot of girls and guys that have a curly hair too with the products. So here you go. What? Okay. And now that this side is done, this in a little bun thing. And then um, I put a shower cap on so that all of the moisture gets soaked up. I put a t-shirt to lock it in. Now usually when I let this sit overnight, I go to sleep like this. Crazy, I know. Um, but now that I'm gonna let this sit for 30 minutes and then come back and take it out and then 
get to the good part, which is the actual twist out. I just been starting my Carol's daughter um, leave in, and then now I'm gonna part it and start my twist out. So I started, I mean, I part it in the middle the same as I did for my leave in. I start with the piece back here, and then I put the rest up. And I just want to show you guys how much of my hair came out from this little brush. Literally, that small amount. Like, barely anything. So I really think that you should get it. Because I love it. Okay, so I brush through. And then I start with my roots. So I either use the tea tree or I use the castor castor oil <laughs> um but today i'm gonna use the castor i was using the tea tree for a while because i had run out of this one um so i just put a little bit in my hand and i mix it up or i rub it up and then i put it in my roots in my hair and then after that i put in my con leave-in conditioner spray this is one that i use and i just spray and then after that, I put in my um, my oil, grease, olive oil, whatever it is. I love it because it makes my hair not so dry when I first took out my twist out. And for this, I this okay, this I'll use a penny size. I know I said no dime size, but this I use a penny size. Put that in my hair, and then. After that, I put my cocoa cream. I love this cream, so it's so good too. Carol's daughter just really is doing it because their products smell so bad. <laughs> you probably think I'm crazy, but it smells so good. Yes, okay. So I put this much in this one part. I guess that's kind of a lot, but to me it's a good amount. Put that, and then so before i was using cantu but when i posted my little um the products that i used on instagram i was told not to use cantu because it's not good for your hair and that makes me sad because it was really working for me so i'm put that down and then i was told to use two different products that would work pretty similar but i bought this one and then next time i'll try the other product when i have an updated routine um so i put a little bit of this in my hand can't really see but yeah and then put that over and then now i'm gonna twist it and my twists are kind of slightly raggedy i guess because it's not really even but it works for me because i think flat twists are supposed to be more to your head but hopefully you can see this but this is what works for me when i do my twist because before um i used to just do braids but the braids made my twist come out way too stringy. And I also used to do way more braids and way more twists, but I stopped doing that because my hair is thick, but it's not that thick. So for, in order for me to get volume, I have to do less curls. And that's literally it. That's one twist. Um, and then on the ends, I used to use Ego. Sometimes I still do use Ego. <laughs> But now I'm just going to use this, um, put a little bit on my finger to seal the ends so that they curl as well. I literally take a little bit of product and then I just twist and that's it. Okay, so I finished all my twists. Hopefully you can see. They're all done. How many? One, two, three, four, five. Ten. I do ten twists each and I do this same thing every single time every time um and then on top i put more castor <laughs> castor <laughs> i don't know when i'll get it right but i put more just on my roots this makes me feel like my hair is growing and my edges swipe it back and then i found this another carol's daughter product that smells delicious i just saw it and i was like wow it's so tiny and cute and it smells really good um it's called mimosa hair honey and it's just a shine pomade and it's for dry brittle textured hair and i like to put it on my edges before i lay my edges down 
but I've never used it on my twist out, so I'm just gonna put it for some extra shine, and since it smells really good, in there. And then now, I'm going to um, put my bandana on, and this is how I'm going to sleep. Like this, put my bandana on to lay it flat. I'm gonna pull these out a little bit. And then I tie it. Just a regular tie. I don't know if you can see it. Tie it in the back. And then um, I'm gonna leave them out for a little bit, but just so you can see like how I go to sleep. I put my bonnet on when I go to sleep. I look really crazy, but that's okay. I want you to see. And I go to sleep like this. And then, so then I'm gonna let it dry all day tomorrow and I'll take it out tomorrow night and then you will see that part. Um, and yeah, we will go from there. Okay, so this is day two of my hair and as you can see, it definitely has fallen. Um, my curls are still there though. Pretty curly in the back on both sides. And I really love my hair during this day two, like I mentioned earlier. Um, just because it's fallen and it's not like super tight. Like I do like it when I take the curls out because I can see how defined they are. But this is my favorite. I also wanted to show you guys like how I wear it when I'm going to sleep. Um, I just put it up in a pineapple. Just like so. Put it high like that. And then you can also wear this style if you want. Um, and then I just put my bonnet on top. And I go to sleep with it like this. It's literally how I go to sleep. Um, and then in the morning I take it off and it falls. And then sometimes if I feel like it's a little bit dry, like in this, this area right here, I'll put vitamin E oil on my hands and just put it through. Um, and that's pretty much it. I hope this was helpful. I hope it wasn't confusing. If you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, Please comment below um, and also make sure that you subscribe, hit the like button, and follow me on Instagram because on Instagram I also put more tips and I'm pretty sure when I learn about more products um, I'll be posting them on there because I do have a hair highlight and look out for more highlights because more videos will be coming soon. Thank you for watching.